are you interested in pursuing a career in amazon web service or as a devops engineer and you're not sure how to get started with this journey in the cloud now perhaps you've implemented several projects or you've seen already implemented any project on the amazon web service stack in this video i'll share with you four projects that you can use to showcase your technical skills as a devops or as an aws cloud practitioner now it's very important that you should watch this video to the end because by the end of this video i'll give you a free resource as well which you can use to implement all these projects hi welcome to demo with mike the focus of today's video is showing you four projects which you can use to plan yourself your first job on aws or as a demops engineer now these projects are categorized from the very basic projects which is still setting up an aws 3t architecture or building technologies or building a solution around the key aws components that is the networking component the storage component and the compute component and of course the security and logging component of the amazon web service cloud and then after that we'll go to advanced concepts around you setting up a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline ci city pipeline on aws and you setting up a kubernetes cluster on aws and lastly we will introduce you to the aws serverless project so those are the four major projects which you should watch this video to the end to understand without wasting so much time let's dive right in if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching our videos and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button because by the end of this video you learn something very important and if you don't yet have a project repository it is important you create a project repository on github before implementing these projects you want to watch our previous video on setting up a github repository so that after implementing these projects you can directly upload them to your github repository to prove your expertise okay so we are diving right into the projects oh we are diving right into the site where you can get all of this project so so you want to type aws workshop studio.io workshop studio.io is going to give you a catalog of all the sites or if you are not yet sure of the site just type aws workshop on your google and search it and then you have as so once you click on aws workshops is a catalog a repository of several different workshops that aws has documented over the years so aside these four projects that we are going to be talking about you can go to the site and explore other projects which aws has documented in their own repository to help people understand their devops or to help people understand their technology now like i mentioned once you're the, on the aws workshops site is going to give you a list created by aws team to store all their past projects so once you're on the site you see you can have projects like this is just a summary of all projects you can have projects for the .NET, microsoft.net you can have projects on artificial learning and machine learning artificial intelligence and machine learning you can have projects on amazon machine image apis cloud9 cloud so there are a whole list of all the aws services there are projects in this site that you can use so once you come here you want to search so this for example we have a project stream seamless data sharing using amazon redshift the approximate that is going to take four hours for you to go through the course we have amazon ecs basic workshop in japanese you see in two hours and they are doing anything to us so this is a list it's just a catalog of different different projects which you can implement if you have the time you can come to this site take any project that you want to do you implement and then you upload to your github repository that way you're able to build so much experience now i mentioned that we're going to talk about four projects on this site that can land you your first job and the very first project which we are going to is the building a three tier a highly available three tier architecture and i'll walk you through this documentation then you can use the link of this of the documentation to follow it step by step to implement the three tier architecture a three tier architecture basically means that you have three layers of the network we have the web tier that actually connects the internet to the users or that actually exposes the applications or your databases to the users through the internet we have the application tier where all the project application files are stored and then we equally have the database tier where the database maybe for if you are doing any reservation, any reservation application the database tier is where all the data it might be in my sql it might be an amazon rds my sql database or a dynamo db whatever the database technology which you are using the database engine all of those are stored in the database tier now this three architecture consists of you building first the networking concepts so as shown on this documentation you're going to first create a virtual private cloud of course the vpc is a fundamental you must have a vpc before you can start adding resources like ec tools and all the other uh, kind of resources so you first create your vpc and it just walks you through so basically with this architecture you're going to have resources in a public subnet that's for the web tier and then you have resources in a private subnet that's for the application tier and the 
database see so that's that's the pretend there we have a, a region maybe a vpc we might we have a region maybe us west one or us west two whatever the region in which the application is running and then you have the vpc constituted and you know vpcs have their side as this might be uh, a class a inside that like maybe 10.0.0.0.0 or it might be class b cider or it might be client c cider so you just want to take note of your vpc cider now based on this architecture they're going to implement a vpc and you have several availability zones there's an availability zone in zone a and there's another availability zone in zone b you want to take note that availability zones are the locations in which aws has its resources so for example you might have the resources in non virginia that is a region that means in the northern virginia region amazon has its resources there now there might be some particular places there where the actual data centers are found and some of those places you call availability zones so you might have us east one like northern virginia 1a 1b 1c depending on where the resources are found so the availability zones yes depict the places where amazon has their resources now we make sure that you are building a highly available infrastructure and for you to build a highly available infrastructure you want to duplicate them maybe across regions or across geographies that's why we have our project our architecture here in availability zone a and some in availability zone b now you create a subnet of course a public subnet that means resources in this subnet have access to the internet or people in the internet can access resources in this subnet while for the private subnet only those in the vpc can access those resources and if someone is to access resources from the internet that person is to use a nat gateway or you can set up a bastion host for that person to connect to the resources now once you have your vpc set up you set up your subnets so you have probably public subnet a you want to set up two public subnets for high availability and you can want to set up with two private subnets for high availability now once you set up your subnet you create your internet gateway the internet gateway gives the resources the access to the internet and once you create your internet gateway in your route table you will have to create a route to the internet that is you have to create a route leading to the internet 0.0.0.0, .0 from your public subnet after you've been able to set up that very basic architecture with the internet gateway for the resources that are found in your private subnet you want to set up a nat gateway that will give access to do updates maybe you want to perform updates in the internet and you just need to maybe run some updates on your local servers on your servers in your application layer so or your app tier so you don't necessarily need to go to the internet to expose your resources you can use a nat gateway that's why they create a nat gateway in this very implementation and of course you create a nat gateway route tables and after you've done all of that you can confirm access to the internet by maybe by creating an ec2 instance and pinging this very basic structure gives us the very first thing which you must know or the very first project which is setting up a three layer or a three tier web application for your environment that is the first project which you must have experience in hands on building a three tier highly available web application diagram the link to this project is in the comment section you want to visit the comment section to have the link or the access to this first project now the second project is you building a continuous integration and a continuous deployment pipeline with aws using aws native tools now Continuous integration and continuous deployment is one of the highly sought for skills that recruiters are looking out for. And the CIT pipeline basically demonstrates you inter integrating or interfacing your developer teams and your operations teams. So this workshop is about building a fully automated CICD pipeline on AWS platform. Once you're starting this project, you want to have a an AWS source code repository. You want to have maybe code commit set up where you set up or you store your source code. You want to have your ecr if you're having docker images that you want to run in the pipeline setup and all of that as the architecture depicts they are building a completely automated CICD pipeline with aws native tools so we have our cloud of course building on the aws cloud a region might be us west one us west two us east whatever the case and then you have the resources spread across different availability zones but what is one more thing in this project is the usage of aws native devops tools like code build code commit code deploy and code pipeline so by the time you are done with this lab you have had experience implementing a ci cd pipeline and once you're doing the project you want to take note of code build code commit code deploy and code pipeline as the key technologies for your ci cd pipelines now once you implement the project and your complete stages are complete you have this kind of uh, uh, success showing that you have maybe perform your code commit and then you've been able to build the source code from your code commit and then you equally have code build where your code has passed through maybe tests and all of this constitutes a, a pipeline so you have code pipeline set up 
and lastly you deploy the resources maybe to ecs or to eks so this project basically is for you to set up a complete ci cd pipeline that's your second project now our third project is a serverless project why serverless most recruiters want to test your expertise with scripting languages like python so this serverless project is about you building an application that runs completely on aws lambda and aws lambda is a serverless offering which amazon web service has to run code on a pay as you go model so you want to implement these projects to the end because by the end of this project you have mastered how to use aws lambda for building your application maybe your application files and then integrating with some other aws tools so the key resources that you are going to be using in this project we have amazon dynamo db amazon api gateway aws lambda aws recognition s3 amplify hosting and web browser those are the main resources that you'll be using by the end of this project and as a documentation have the modules which you definitely complete by the end of this project is you build a serverless backend you also configure a lambda authorizer and then you build and deploy the web application with api gateway and your aws lambda you will test the application you configure aws recognition and of course you tear down your architecture so basically this third project is about you enhancing your or demonstrating your python skills and your integration with tools like aws lambda s3 aws recognition and other aws tools now the last project is you performing a web application hosted on the eks on elastic kubernetes service so this project is about you having your resources on aws eks and as the diagram depicts we have already built a complete aws three tier highly available architecture which is actually the same architecture here you see there's a customer vpc we have public subnets we have private subnets we have our internet gateway we have our route tables and all of that we equally have cloud wash set up for monitoring and then you have a dashboard because you are building a community you are putting in place monitoring and logging as best practice and they also lock the cluster metrics with cloud watch so this architecture is a complete architecture for setting and running a kubernetes cluster on aws and you want to demonstrate your skills on containerization and container orchestration and this project is perfect because by the end of this project you have implemented a 3 c architecture you have secured a 3 c architecture you have dockerized an application and of course you will have orchestrated the deployment of containers on the amazon stack so you want to take this project to the end to gain all the experience so we, we see here after setting up the vpc you set up your control plane and all the other components that form a control plane and by the end of the project you should have built an application routed the application to the internet interactive resources on the internet and summarily have access to some of those resources on the internet from your kubernetes cluster so those are the four main projects that this video is focused like i said you want to come to the entire website workshop.studio where you can view other projects relating to the, all the concepts which you might have studied or relating to concepts which you are still to study thank you for watching this video to the end i hope you're able to learn something very important that can get you your dream job as an aws solutions architect or as a devops engineer or as a cloud engineer now there's something very special for you in the description you want to check the description to join our slack community in our slack community we share resources that can help you on a daily to be effective in your environment as a cloud engineer and of course we give you recent updates on new events in the devops also if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me visit the channel description and book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me thank you for watching and if you've not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell because subsequently these projects will be implemented in our upcoming videos thank you and see you in our next video